Come visit me sometime. I'll make it up to you, all right. I bought some very fine Khajiit tea I've been dying to try. Your anger is understandable. A true Telvanni life always involves some seclusion. The higher I climb, the lonelier it gets. But I truly value our friendship and Ioki's affection. I'd hate to lose either of you. Thank the aid! To oblivion with these damned mages! No amount of gold is worth this kind of treatment! Sun and Shadow asked me to come measure her for a new dress. Soon after I arrived, a pack of Telvanni thugs burst through the door and dragged her off. One of them shouted something about Tel Arun. That's all I know. Please, just set me free! Hello? Anyone home? Oh, Scrib Jelly. I'm too late. Yes, well, I came to warn Sun in Shadow, but it seems I arrived too late. I guess I should warn you too. My most benevolent pastor, Muthsera Gothrin, is... disgruntled. Oh yes, peeved, in the extreme. Magister Gothrin promoted me to mouth, but he still grieves for Rolasa. As you know, grief often gives way to anger... Apparently, his gentle disposition has limits when it comes to assassinating his servants. Pity I didn't get here sooner. I thought perhaps with time his fury might abate. I'd make all haste to tell Arun if I were you. Muthsera Gothrin respects courage and candor. If you speak to him directly, you might receive better treatment. You go on ahead. I'll wait here for a bit. Best we're not seen together. Uh, no offense. You. Thanks to your nonsense, I'm assigned to guarding the docks instead of the tower. And if I find the slave who helped you, I'll take care of him. Or her. That's your lookout. He's been expecting you. You're an idiot for having crossed him. He's vindictive and powerful. Ugh. Why would anyone want to be friends with one of the lizard folk? doesn't make you much better than them. You should go and find the Magister before he tosses your friend back in the slave pens. The Magister is expecting... Eminently predictable, you and your lizard cohort. Ah, the murderer appears. I should thank you for saving me the trouble of hunting you down. Watching you peasants struggle against the inevitable is exhausting. Don't waste my time with flimsy pretense. Did you really think you could kill my mouth and get away with it? I see all. Your clumsy intrigue is no exception. If you wish to save your life and that of your friend, you will perform a task for me. That doesn't absolve you from blame. It just makes you sound stupid. I have no patience for stupidity. Now I wonder if you're equal to the task I've set for you. Magister Othery made a discovery some weeks ago. A relic or some dwarven device, perhaps. He refuses to share the details, so I am compelled to take those details by force. Steal his notes from Telnaga and deliver them to my new mouth, Aerith. Magisters care little for the limits of morality, me least of all. 
I try to avoid turning people into shambling masses of screeching tumors, but in this case, I could make an exception. At the very least, your scaled friend will die in chains. That depends on what information you retrieve. If it's useful, we can discuss the terms of the lizard's freedom. That's as much of a promise as you'll get from me. Be grateful I am giving you a chance to rectify the wrong you've done me. I'm quite sure you weren't invited up here. Off you go. You are. I knew my master would show you mercy. Do you have something for me? Well done. I think my master wants to speak with you himself. Try not to make him angry, all right? Well, it's about time. Come, servant. You retrieved the journal. That was competent. Ah, yes, this is Othere's journal. His penmanship has gotten even worse. So, it's a dwarven artifact, then. A merged tonal prism? My, my, that does sound intriguing. Seems he tucked it away in his Kwama mine, Zalkin Sul. You will fetch it for me. I said nothing of the sort. If your work pleases me, I may deign to release your friend and forget your misdeeds. But make no mistake, Noa. I've given you no word to keep. Go to Zalkin Soup, acquire the prism, then bring it to me in Tel Aru. Oh, where am... Oh dear. Just give me a moment. Well, that could have gone worse. Ugh. Channeling spells always gives me dry mouth. Isn't that weird? Oh yes, I mean, Muthsera Gothrin expects unwavering obedience, but on the whole, it's been a delight. I know he's treated you poorly, but isn't his candor refreshing? About as much as you, I wager. Kwama nest there, tending to their eggs and what have you. It probably smells bad, too. Well... The Zulkan Zul cave network strays very close to an ancient dwarven stronghold called Zonchant. Otheri's miners might have stumbled upon an entrance to the ruin, so keep an ear out for clanking? Hmm, I can't begrudge you that. Were I in your position, I'd probably need a good sulk too. Not that you're sulky or anything. Oh, you know what I mean. Hey, you need something? Sure is. You looking for work? Nah, you're the adventurous type. Only time you'll lift a pick is to bash in some beastie's skull, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. What brings you out here to the arse end of nowhere? Well, it isn't locked. Go ahead and take a peek. Might want to keep it quiet, though. Don't want Oteri's guards spotting you, trust me. They keep things locked down tighter than my fat auntie's bodice. Sure, 
I've got a few minutes. Yeah, who am I kidding? I've got plenty of time. What do you want to know? Other than Oteri's guards? We have cave-ins every now and then. Unruly slaves and such. Then there's Mazanchent. But I'm sure you're not interested in that. Ash, get in your eyes on the way here. You can't miss those gloomy old dwarf towers. The way I hear it, Mazanchen ruins cut right under the mine. Plenty of treasure down there just waiting to be plucked. That, that's what I've heard, anyway. Uh, just stretching my legs. And keeping an eye out for Magister Oteri. You know these Telvanni, always barging in without warning and throwing their weight around. Come to think of it, he's been visiting more often than usual. I wonder why. Yeah. Well, honestly, I mostly just act like I'm working. Pace the same and you sweat a lot less. Stuck up dark elves, ash storms, slave labor pushing down wages. What's not to like? Eh, I shouldn't bellyache. It is what it is, and I need the coin. Got to take the opportunities where you find them. Crazy machine, eh? Figured you'd find it quickly enough. <laughs> I knew you weren't interested in Guama Caves. One of those black-hearted magisters sent you to filch this thing, am I right? I've got a proposition. I can tell you what little I know and give you a key to Mzanchent. In exchange, you give me any notes you find in there. Anything about how it was built, what it does, anything. Got a nice offer from an interested party. Well, that does make things easier. Gold's gold, right? So, Terry locked the crystal in place and took certain parts of the machine so no one else could turn the damn thing off. We need those parts to turn off the machine and get the crystal. The parts you need are somewhere in Mazanchent, but I'm not sure where. I spent a lot of time watching Oteri. From what I can tell, you'll need a crank, a spur gear, one of the smaller pistons, and, uh, uh, some kind of handle. Sure. I've been keeping a sharp eye on Oteri ever since he set up shop in here. I still don't know what the damn thing does, but I'll tell you what I can. Prism? Oh, right. Now I see it. I guess he found it in the ruin, yeah? All kinds of dwarven antiques in there. Along with the parts you need. I think he hides the pieces to keep us from nabbing the crystal. The paranoid old skeever. Sorry, but I skipped school the day they taught dwarf machine magic. Got no idea, friend. I could hazard a guess. Looks a little like my pa's old jaw harp. So, maybe it makes music or something. Some kind of death music, I bet. You damn dwarfs. A rascal like me has to look out for his own interests, right? Oteri dropped his key a few days back. I grabbed it. 
and made the wax mold while he wasn't looking. Didn't take long to make a rough copy. Yeah, you've got to jiggle it a bit, but it works. Don't let some dwarven trap slice you up, eh? Cuts. The Kwama are... What is this thing? Never mind! Get out of here! Through the East Mine! were falling, the Kwama attacking, so many lost. Has the dust blinded you? I barely made it out with my tail intact, and I wasn't far from the door. Some may have escaped, but not all. Oh, by the egg, what could have done this? I'm getting away from this place. Perhaps this misfortune can turn to my salvation. The slave masters will think me a corpse, lost to the mine's collapse. I can use that to my advantage. The hist is calling me. I will pray for my lost friend. You didn't get yourself killed? That's promising. Ugh. What's that I smell? Grease and Kwama dung? Let's make this quick, Noir. I won't have you soiling my rugs any longer than necessary. The prism. Do you have it? 
Well, that is a surprise. I do hope this isn't some cheap forgery, for your sake. Ah, some kind of merged tonal prism. A lively one, too. Fascinating. I do hope that fool Otheri didn't damage it. He's almost as clumsy as you. Vexhead, do you still labor under the delusion that you have some power in this place? Huh. It's hardly worth discussing. I've grown tired of our little chats. You completed the task I set before you. You can have your lizard back. Sarah, I cannot thank you enough for helping me. I wasn't sure if I'd ever leave Tel Arun alive. I'm sorry. I know I've asked too much of you. Sage advice. I've had my fill of schemes for now. I plan to dedicate myself to my studies and try to patch things up with the Oki. The last time I saw him, I said some hurtful things. Again, thank you. Next time you're in Sadrith Mora, come visit. I am a free mage of House Telvani. You had no right to imprison me. You presume to lecture me? You, who conspired to kill my servant? Thank whatever scaly gods you worship that I didn't rend the flesh off your back and feed you to the tower's roots. Cross me again, and your life is forfeit. We're done here. Be gone. I always thought my worst humiliations were behind me. I guess I was wrong. Yes, well, I will be languishing in Gothrin's slave pens, just... It took me back to darker times. Reminded me of the risks and my good fortune up to this point. Perhaps I've been pushing too hard. I have a great deal to think about. I'll return to Sadrith Mora and continue my studies. Talk to Ioki. Bury myself in a good novel. Come and visit. It would be great just to sit and talk for a while as friends. I still owe you that cup of tea, right? <laughs> 